Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to another video. So unfortunately, uh, I had some video issues with, well, more so audio issues with part one of this journey. So for those of you guys who don't know, um, unfortunately, we had a little bit of a mishap. So I recorded part one to this. Uh, so my guy is a little geared, I got some stuff happening. And then I realized that I had audio filters on, I had noise gate on, uh, and it was cutting me out the entire time. So, the entire video, you can only hear every other word, and I recorded for two hours. So, now we're here. Uh, where's my car? Um. Um. The hell is it? Okay. Um. <laughs> don't know why it's over there. Not gonna ask questions. And I'm lagging. Okay. Alright, we're good, we're good. It takes a second. Uh, so I'm gonna just run you guys up to speed on what episode one was, and then we'll get to where we are now. <clears throat> so we are outside the motorbike park, which I will go through again just to show anybody new and interested in the video. Uh, if you guys could stay for the whole video, that would be amazing. That would be so wonderful and awesome. Uh, trying to reach 4,000 uh, play hours as well as a 1,000 subscriber goal, so I would really like to know what you guys think. As you can see at the top of the video being recorded, you can see 218 out of 1,000. Uh, that's a subscriber goal, guys, so we're going to get there. Hopefully, with your guys' help, I want to be there by the end of the year. Um, so that's what, four, four months. I'm bad with months. Don't judge me. So I'm going to show you guys where we left off. So we got this beautiful car, right? Which is pretty dope. Um, I actually really want a truck. This looks like a giant cone to me. Um, not, not feeling it very well, but we did get this dope freaking helmet, which is awesome because I've only found the janky ones that look like little kid helmets. So to find a cool one, that's pretty dope. So we're in, we're coming on strong. We have a gun with some bullets, not very much. It's a very damaged gun. Probably won't even use it to be honest. Uh, zombies hit really freaking hard. <laughs> I turned up the damage a lot, so they hit really hard. Uh, okay. We got a knife. We got some basic food and things in here. Backpack, a bigger backpack. Uh, some bullets. What the hell's going on? Alright, that's new. Uh, some bullets, some, some drink. Actually, I'll bring the drink with me, because I'm sure I'm going to be thirsty at some point. And the water, why not? So we're going to go ahead and recheck this for any of the new players. So, to anybody that's new with the point six update, we have, uh, some new things here. So we have the train yard. We have the motorbike yard. So that's pretty awesome. Super excited to see where this goes. So we're going to go ahead and explore this. I will show you guys around this uh, train yard as well because they have the new places on the map. And that's all we're going to do for episode two today. Just show you guys all the new places. Um, probably do a little bit of character upgrading. Not sure what I want to do as far as base location goes. I think I'm going to do in Z because obviously that's the newest place. And anybody who's new to the game um, really wants to see that. Or not new to the game, sorry. Anybody who's played the game wants to see the new features, not the old ones. But of course, I'll still do exploring throughout this series. I'm thinking this series is going to be about 20 episodes, two per week, so you can calculate that if you'd like. Um, and we're going to try to make this as fun and as adventurous. Oh, hello, sir. I wonder how hard you hit now. I kind of want to test that. Let me just... What's up, big boy? <coughs> Built like a deep breath, I see. <coughs> Kind of don't want to get hit, but also like, oh damn, I killed him. Okay, well, not complaining. Uh, oh good, okay, we got some more nine mil bullets. That's actually really helpful. We needed those. I will go ahead and take some of these. Get some of these. Go ahead and get some of these. Not looking like we're gonna need any of that. So beautiful people, this is the new motorbike track. Uh, so you start out on this side coming in. Oh, do I not have room? Yeah, I have room. Why, am, why am I not putting it away? Okay, <clears throat> so you start out on the entrance over here coming in, and you're going to go ahead, <clears throat> and this is where you where you start. You start within all these cars and a little car park, and this bad boy right here, you guys know. You already know what- oh, bet! Are you kidding me? That's such a good find! I'm so happy I came back here. Okay, bet. So we're going to go ahead, pop that in there. Oh, I bet that looks so dope. Let me go out here. Oh, that looks so awesome. Look at that. It looks so dope. I love those hand holsters. I like the variety in this game. I like that they do so well with it. Oh, bet a better melee weapon. Definitely gonna take that. So I can smack some hoes. Definitely need these because we are on our way to make 
um, a lock for our base whenever we have a base. I mean, this is a single player series, so I doubt we'll see anybody, obviously. But, um, you never know, you know, you, you never know what you want to do, and you know what you want to make as realistic and dope as possible. So, this is our dude right here. I'm going to go through our stats, because I know the footage got deleted. Uh, so we're going to go ahead, or, or the audio messed it up, whatever you want to say. Uh, so with the new update, I'll show you guys the new features. So we got the obvi obvious new metabolism. So it's very much more color coordinated, a lot more, uh, pleasing to the eyes, <laughs> I could say at least. Uh, and you have some things that have changed, if you've noticed. You have no more sodium, uh, and minerals, vitamins are split up now, as well as, uh, yeah, everything looks pretty clean. You have a different water percentage now and an energy percentage right here. Uh, we have this bad boy over here, so now you can see your fat to muscle ratio, which is really the only thing I'd look at over here, if I'm being honest with you guys. Uh, and we have the new skill tree. So, uh, obviously there's only one new skill, which is the medical skill, the medic skill, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I have right now, I have advanced melee damage, basic well, archery. Yeah, basic I have no skill in archery, rifles, apparently. I didn't realize that. Okay. Yeah. So uh, we have running, I have um, medium no awareness, it's building up the dexterity. Well, I have medium engineering stealth, and we have and medium survival. And that's what we're right, going off of right health. now. Beautiful people. So we're starting off strong with some decent stats. We're coming in here into the beautiful, amazing, wonderful area over here. Let me go ahead and open this up. I did find this helmet in there. I wonder if it respawned. That'd be pretty dope. Definitely wouldn't mind having two of these. See if we can find anything of interest. Definitely could use that. Uh, oh, a radio. Okay, yeah, that'll definitely come in handy. Um, ooh, another one of these. We always need more of these. You know, you don't really need the- Oh, bet. I like those work pants. Equipped. Taking those. Screw the ones I have. These look better. Mm-hmm. -hmm. But I will take these jeans for obvious reasons. Uh, <clears throat> anybody who's new to the game notices some things already- Oh my god, another one? Really? Okay. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm gonna need as many as I can get for the base, you know? But damn, I didn't expect to find three in one little area. That's crazy. All right, uh, so we're going to go ahead and check out these little rooms. Anybody in here? Hello, knock, knock. No, nobody in here. Okay. Oh, my God. What is going on? We're just finding everything. I'm sorry I'm freaking out, but Jesus Christ. Like, this loot is fat. But no, oh, I didn't want to sit down. I'm not the caretaker. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go. I have to go back to the car. That's a new feature with metabolism as well. Your weight now affects your stamina. I'm not sure if it did before. I don't think it did. Uh, so yeah, that's definitely new. But good news is we have so much new and interesting stuff to look at and go over. It's gonna be so fun to use. I'm really excited for it. So we're gonna go ahead and throw all this in there and make some room because obviously it seems like we're gonna be picking up stuff. So we're gonna need the room. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and drive down there so I can show you guys the whole area again. Uh, cause obviously that footage got lost and there's a lot of people who want to see the new stuff, including my damn self. Uh, I turned the- so I changed the stats of the server. If you guys would like to see what those are, I can, um, probably go over that if you guys want later on or in a separate video. Uh, show you guys what the stats of the servers are and even maybe how to do it. I know a lot of people don't know how to change the stats of their single player server. Uh, so I can go over that with you guys if you'd like in another video, perhaps. But yeah, my, um, I'm actually uploading probably tonight, don't quote me on that, uh, cause this will be uploaded tonight, but I might be uploading tonight another video as well, a multiplayer video, uh, with some friends. Uh, either way, I am recording that tonight, so that'll be up roughly pretty soon, I think. So this is the main area when you walk in, all these little tents and cool areas for, I'm guessing this was like, you know, before the apocalypse struck a kiosk area for people to buy things. Um, we got all the- and this is, like, chicken coop. I don't know how that relates, but- <laughs> But you know what? I'm not gonna question it. The game knows. Oh, chips. Okay, cool. Um, the game knows. Obviously, loot is turned up quite a bit. I am finding a lot of loot. People probably noticed that right straight away. But, uh, don't hate on me yet, because I, uh, turn the zombies up so much that if they hit you once, you almost bleed out. Uh, <laughs> so, if that's any constellation for me getting a lot of loot. So, after this beautiful kiosk area where everybody goes to buy things before the event starts, uh, we have this area, which I think was probably the eat. Oh, hello. Hey, beautiful. You're looking mighty thick today. Looking like 
built like a beanbag chair with eyes, but you know. Ooh, don't hit me. Oh, I'm hit. Okay, I'm not bleeding, which is weird. This is the first time I haven't bled. <laughs> Alright, we got him, we got him, we got him without having to make too much noise. Now, for anybody who is new to the game or just new to finding this part, uh, there's a lot of zombies that spawn here. Uh, there's a lot of bad boys that spawn over here. I'm just letting y'all know. Ooh, look at you. You look like you need to eat, honey, but it ain't gonna be me. <laughs> Damn, that was three hits. Three hits and you're out, bitch. Um, so, anybody who is yeah, new to this area, there's a lot of little bad boys that spawn over here. Also, I'm looking for a new word to call these people. These little uh, infected zombie people. I don't want to call them puppets, because it's not what they are. Let's be real, they're zombies, but that's boring to say. So, I want to say something fun and interesting. So, if you guys can come up with anything that's fun and interesting to say, please go ahead and comment it down below, because I want to know. Also... Uh, if you guys have made it this far in the video already, go ahead and comment bad boys down below because that's what I am calling the zomboids as of right now. Just some bad boys. So if you guys want to change that name and have me say something the rest of my life and impact how I play scum, then go ahead and leave a comment down below. Uh, I'm trying to get this video, obviously this is my first video of uh, the game region <laughs> and a new channel and everything, so it's very new and... Uh, you know, obviously, people are gonna be like, who the hell are you? I don't, I don't know who you are. Why am I gonna subscribe to you? Listen, you're gonna subscribe to me because I'm dope and because I'm a good scum player and because I'm good at PvP. But, you know, obviously, that's gonna be for the multiplayer series, uh, which is also starting tonight, I believe, so... You guys will see. Don't worry, you'll see. Uh, some 22 cal. I don't really need 22 cal. I don't have a hunter or anything of that nature yet, so... God damn. All right, I already have enough to build, um... I should probably be collecting these to make like a tire thing, just in case, you know. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. <laughs> you ever need locks? Just come here. Alright, one, two, three. I think I only need five for the kit, right? And then some glue? Or was it three? I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But yeah, this is basically the gist, and then this is just the track. Uh, I know people are more interested in seeing the track, but personally, there's not really much to it, guys, if I'm being real with you. Uh... It's just a track. <laughs> so, yeah, you can come up here and do the walk around, which I personally think is so cool. Like, I like that you can oversee this entire area. I don't know if there's any bicycle spawns over here, or bicycle, <laughs> uh, motorbike spawns over here. I don't have that spawn turned up. I've used them. I found one in my multiplayer series, and they're really not anything, like, to be crazed about. I'm kind of upset they don't have any storage space. They are fun to ride. Definitely give the developers that. They're really fun to ride. Um, they're just really fun to, like, mess with in general, but they're just- they don't have any space. They're- they're virtually useless in a game like this where you need space, you know? Especially starting out. Maybe if you have, like, a big base and you're not really needing any extra space, but you just want it for, like, the fun reason, you know? Then, yeah, that's- that's cool. I mean, I'm sure that'll work. But we're gonna go ahead and head back to the car. That was the motorbike place, guys, so... Uh, in another series, I'm thinking of getting some of my admin friends, another server, maybe we could do a race. Uh, I think that'd be really fun. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see us do a race. I'll post a poll as well uh, to see if that's what you guys want to see for the next video. I'm going to try to post at least twice a week, so these are going to be very spread apart. But you know, the, the more spread apart they are, uh, the more ideas I have time to think about. <laughs> So it, it really does help, you know, obviously. I mean, I commend the people who post every single day. I'm sure I could get there at one point if I became motivated enough, but who knows, you know? Here, let me lay down and get some stand back. But we'll see if we get there. We'll definitely come in handy. So we're going to go ahead, play some music, and head our way over to the beautiful train yard, which, by the way, uh, is set to have working trains, if you guys didn't know. Uh, coming, I'm not sure what update, I think the next update I heard from the developers on Twitter was AI, uh, which I'm freaking stoked for. Like, AI in this game is gonna be insane, and no more, like, mechs and freaking, you know, like, crazy robot creatures. I think they're trying to implement actual, like, bandits and stuff, which is so freaking exciting to me, because, like, I would much rather fight, like, a group of soldiers with, like, guns shooting back at me than, like, a f dream, a flame-throwing, freaking giant transformer looking like a freaking box of eggs. Like, I don't know, it just, he, he, they don't look very, uh, pleasing to the eyes. They're very cartoony, as Ray Kit says, if you guys watch him, um, on YouTube as well. 
but uh, yeah, if you guys got this far in the video, please feel free to know that you are freaking loved and thank you so much. This place? Whoo! And there's a truck spawn here as well. Uh, Z3 right next to the gas station is the place to be. I've gotten so much good stuff there. I used to live next to there in one of my servers. Ooh, okay. Um, and yeah, I found a lot of good stuff. It's a great place for loot, really and truly. So yeah, I'm super excited to see where this game goes. As you guys know, if you guys have been playing for a while, or if you're new and you've just uh, done a little bit of research, or, you know, seen some of the new areas. Uh, am I going that way, or am I going this way? That way goes... Yeah, yeah, I'm going this way, okay. So, yeah, if you guys have done any, any bit of research into the game, you know that uh, there's a bunch of grayed out skills in when you make your character, and you can't mess with those yet. But <laughs> if you guys have looked at some of them, Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Piloting and sailing and all this cool stuff and uh, pet handling and crazy crap. Um, absolutely crazy crap. I'm so excited to see where this game goes. To know that games like Daisy are still like kind of number one in the sense of like the YouTube community. Like people really only post about those. You'll find hundreds of videos, but when you type in scum, you'll see the same like hundred. You'll see hundreds of videos, but only by the same like three people. Uh, oh crap, I'm lagging. Hello. Here, let me uh, fix that real quick. One second. There we go. Okay. I don't know why that was lagging so bad. But, um, yeah, you'll see, like, hundreds of videos about the same, like, three people, like, Ray Kit and Mr. Feudal and all those people, so. Um, which is great. They're great, obviously. But this game is amazing, and it deserves a lot more credit uh, as a survival game, you know. as it, I think it won the biggest map made by their, uh, their company as well, or their uh, development company, as well as... Just the the intricacy of it is insane. Like them, obviously, if you've looked at the metabolism and the fact that you have to keep track of your sugars and your minerals and your nutrients and your fat gain and your muscle gain and your water intake and your you know everything everything under the sun, even your alcohol intake now at this point. Uh, and you know they're adding in different illnesses and farming and everything in the next coming updates and AI and missions like think of GTA mission wise like being able to be on a multiplayer server and playing with you know 60 plus people 70 plus people and uh, doing missions in the midst of that with your friends and the PvP and the gun play in this game is freaking astronomical this is and the developers are so quick like I think the big uh, 0.6 update came out, what, two days ago, three days ago now? And they already had a patch update to fix the issues that were in it today. So if you're looking for a game that is very, very well kept, graphics are amazing. The only thing I'd have to say is because it's a PC game um, and this specific game takes up so much of your computer, it is very hard to run, <laughs> let alone record. So if you're trying to do any of that, uh, good luck. <laughs> I'm still struggling with it, and I've been messing with my settings for like a year just to get ready for this, so uh, definitely something you're gonna have to grind to fix and mess with unless you're, you, you, you know, have the money for like a $1,600, you know, PC setup, but. So as you guys can see from side view rolling in here, look at this place, absolutely massive by the way, just absolutely freaking massive. I might have to use my shoddy in here because I know there's going to be a lot. I'm not going to explore the whole thing. It would take forever to get from point A to point B. But you will find some of the best military loot as well as some of the best clothing um, in these uh, buses, trains. I don't they, like they say they're trains, but they kind of look like buses to me. I don't know why. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull over here and just hop right in for you guys. Uh, hopefully I get lucky, find some good loot. I mean, my loot is turned up, so I'm sure I'll find something, but... You know, I don't want to be too gawky here. Okay, there's a lot to render in. I'm going to try to just move slow, let my game take. Because like I said, this game is a lot. Um, and I'm recording, so it doesn't help. If I wasn't recording, it would run fine. But, you know, you know how it is. So I'm just going to walk through with vicinity on. already have something here. Uh, sometimes you get lucky. Oh, and there's a backpack. Okay, but a hiking backpack. I don't really need one, so I'm not going to take it. Even though there's nobody else here, I don't see the point. For after having one that I already have one. Uh, you have some great military loot here. I'm sure I'll find something of use in one of these. Wow, that's weird. Uh, the new search is kind of weird. You can't, like, re like if you try to research something... Uh, is, that a <gasps> is that a working truck? Oh, no, that's blown up. I just got so excited. I was about to be like, oh my god, I found a truck. Oh my god. Finally. Ooh, I hear one of them scallywags. What's up, ho? Damn. 
How did that feel? Probably not too good. Oh. Damn. <laughs> There's something really satisfying in this game about hitting with like a blunt object. <laughs> Cause the way the freaking the AI reacts, the way the freaking bad boys react, boy, they be they 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 don't care. They just flop over like they just got smacked. Oh, hello. I could use a gun on you, right? Oh, how did I miss you? Oh my god, that's horrible. Sorry. Oh my god, wait. Oh no, I'm hit. Oh no 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 no. no. Oh my, I might die here. I'm bleeding. My gun jammed. I can't use it right now. Oh my goodness. Okay, so as you see, the zombies do quite a bit of damage. That was, what, two hits and I'm already bleeding? Uh, so if you guys don't know how to use the new uh, crafting system when it comes to healing yourself. Do I have anything to heal myself? I don't. Okay, I can cut up something. It's okay. Uh, how about my injuries? Let's just see first. Uh, a C2 and a C1. They'll heal on their own. I don't need to mess with them. But I did find an axe, so that's good. We're gonna go ahead and throw that in my inventory. Do I have any- is that why I'm like struggling? Do I have any more shots? I th yeah, I have shots in here. Okay. Not many. Uh, let me see if I can do this then. Come on, Dusty Thoughts. How many are gonna come? Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, that was a bad idea. Ugh. Damn, that was a couple hits. Alright, well, I got it working, but I don't have any more <laughs> bullets on me, so I didn't want to run out. I should have used an axe, honestly. It probably would have worked better. It probably would have been, like, one hit, but it's fine. I'm hurting. As long as my injuries aren't worse, I should be okay. Okay, I have a C2, but... Okay, so basically, C1 to C4 are the injury statuses now. C4 is, like, you're gonna die if you don't treat it. Um, and then anything else heals on its own. So, some things about this game. Um, I'm gonna go search more of the train yard while I'm talking so you guys can say just ignore the blood. I'm not bleeding out or anything, don't worry. Um, some more things about this game that are pretty freaking awesome, but also, uh, bug the hell out of me. So this game has a lot, uh, has done a lot for the small things, and that's really important in video games, doing a lot for the small things, you know? Uh, that's something that I always look for when I'm, like, getting a game, especially a survival game. Um, so the thing that I really like about this game is it does that, but I hate the fact that this game will do things um, like you have to take out each individual um, nail from like a box of nails, you know, or you have to. Yeah, it just it just seems kind of like why, you know. Uh, <laughs> but also things happen. It's okay. I understand they're they're taking their time with the game. They're doing the best they can with it. Uh, I will be uploading that multiplayer video probably tonight or tomorrow night, but it will be recorded tonight, so the same day that um this is going to be uploaded. So there will be another video out probably tomorrow, and it'll be a lot more fun and entertaining. Obviously, pe more people equals more fun, especially my friends. Uh, really cool dudes. You guys will probably like them. They're dope. Uh, yeah, so I think this is where we're going to leave off, beautiful people. Uh, so I'm going to go drive to the train yard to let you guys see, maybe do a little cinematic video. I don't know, but we'll see. So I leave you with the train yard. Okay, boys and girls, I'm gonna leave the video right here for you. I really appreciate you guys watching my first video, and if you've watched it all the way through, you're freaking amazing, and I really appreciate and love you. Uh, well, my goal is to get to a thousand subscribers. If you guys could help me do that, every subscriber counts, and every view counts, every like counts, and every second you spend watching counts. So I'd really appreciate it. Um, if you guys would like to know a little bit more about me, I could always do like a private video of like getting to know and stuff like that because obviously, you know, you guys probably don't care. You probably just want to watch Scum, but yeah, this game's freaking amazing. Uh, 1010 recommend. If you like survival games, you will like this game. But I hope you guys have an amazing day and like that button or your mom's a hoe. Have a great day. Bye guys.
I'm on my own, broken alone. 